What's up everybody? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs and today we're going to be making 3D shirts so don't go anywhere. Somebody asked me if I can make a video from start to finish. I'm just gonna show you the part where we're printing the actual shirt, not the designing part because everybody has different software that they design on and everybody has their own style or different style of designing. So I will not be showing you the design part, but you'll see while this one is printing. Okay, so while this one prints, uh, let's go ahead and cut the other ones because I already got the other ones printed. So we're gonna let this one finish printing and then we can cut the other ones and get them ready for sublimation. So this is all the pieces that we need for one shirt. Just in case if you're, if you're wondering, this is going to be at 3x. Because I know somebody's going to be asking me what sizes are those shirts. Now when you print them out, they look, they look really, really big. But once you sew them together, they're not that big. So let me cut this uh, real quick and then we'll come back and do the other one. I have all the pieces cut ready for sublimation, but on this one, what we're gonna do normally, what we do is we cut the, um, we cut the fabric with the laser. So it looks like this. But in this case, my laser is busy right now, so I can cut the fabric with the laser. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do it by hand. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a piece of fabric that is big enough for the, for the uh, shirt. So there you go with all the pieces cut. We're, now we can start sublimating and uh, getting everything ready for sewing. So let's go to sublimation and, uh, and do just that, sublimate them. Okay, so now we are ready to press. And before you go to press... Uh, make sure that your plant is nice and hot so you want to press it before you actually you know just a dry press just to press itself so you can heat up the bottom planting and then put your material in there and in this case I already got my material and I got the uh, first sublimation image in there and we're gonna we're gonna be sublimating we're gonna be sublimating at 380 uh, degrees Fahrenheit for um, 40 seconds I'm gonna let this one go for a little longer than that because I want it to penetrate the fabric really good because this is the first one to go and it's usually the press not as hot as the, the ones that you're gonna do. Like the third shirt is gonna be the press is ready nice and, and hot. We have the first uh, sublimation. One of the things I like to do is I like to just peek a little bit, little bit to see if it's sublimated correctly. And right now it looks perfect. So. If it didn't sublimate it correctly, I will um, take it out. I'm sorry, I will press it again. So we're gonna move this one out of the way. We'll grab the next uh, piece of fabric. And now we're gonna sublimate the uh, front of it. The one that you just saw was the back. So before you go to press it, make sure that you don't have any wrinkles in your fabric, because you don't want that to show up on the on the uh, uh, sublimated part. This is gonna be the front of the shirt. And again, I'm just gonna pick a little bit, making sure that it's sublimated correctly. And it did. And as you can see, I can pick it up by the fabric and it won't come off because the uh, paper is uh, tacky. And that's it for the sublimation. All the pieces are sublimated. Now let's see what they actually look like. So now we're just gonna get all these pieces of paper out. So there you go. This is what the next looks like. Now this is gonna be the sleeves. So here's the uh, sleeve for the uh, Texas Q. And now let's see what the actual shirts look like. Here's the one for the Texas Q, the front of the Texas Q. Here's the back of the Texas, Texas Q. And here's the one for the Seattle Seahawks, the front of it. And here's the back for the Seattle Seahawks. 
So now that all the pieces are sublimated, now I have to cut the excess. There's two ways of doing it. One is to use scissors. The other one is to let the machine cut it itself. Me, I like to use the scissors. Now, the easiest way will be to actually have the laser cut our pieces, but like I said, the laser, I have the laser set up for something else, so I can't do that with the laser. So we're gonna have to sit here and cut it. So let me cut everything together, get them ready for the sewing part, and then we'll come back to the rest of the video. So we're going to start with the uh, shoulders and, uh, and uh, you've probably seen some people use pins or some sort of device to hold both of the pieces of the material together. I do not use that. If, uh, if that helps you, go ahead and use it, but you will see me doing it without um, any sort of pins or anything to hold them together. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that both of my end pieces are ending up together here and here and then we're going to feed it in the serger and we're going to sew the top of the shoulder together now when i get to this end i'm going to sew about a about an inch past this and then i'm going to get to the other shoulder so again sew just a little bit then i'm going to get the other uh, shoulder, hold it in place, and then line up both of my pieces together, like so. I'm going to sew a little more just, just so I have some um, space in between them. And we're going to cut that in a little bit. Now we grab this both ends together, and again making sure that both of our material is lining up. and we'll just sew the rest of it. Now, I'm having the machine cut a small piece, like about a sixteenth of an inch, so I can get a nice tight uh, sewn. Just like that, cut that, and see this is what I was saying. Um, I uh, sew just a little bit so I can keep both of the pieces together and then just snip it or cut it. And that will be the uh, shoulders. That's how we sew the shoulders together. So now we're going to do the neck. And the neck was this strap right here, right? Uh, so we're going to fold it in half. Again, we're going we're gonna to be working inside out. The whole time we're going to be working inside out. You're going to fold it and you're going to grab the, the, um, at the fold. I'll put it aside for a little bit. And we have to measure the entire neck. So the easiest way is to grab the center of the shirt, which will be about right there. Grab that and this part right here. And then put it on your table. So we're gonna grab this end right here and put it together with the other one. Let me move this so you can see. So we're gonna put them both together like that. We're gonna kinda not stretch it, but we're gonna pull it a little bit so it stays um, nice and straight and we're gonna come back about um, Say almost an inch about three quarters of an inch back and that's what we're gonna sew so in this case I was holding it and I will show you again in a little bit. Let me mark this so you guys can see so again We're gonna pull this straight not pull it to where you're stretching it, but you're just gonna pull it and then about right there. See how I went back about three quarters of an inch and you're gonna cut it right there. So you can either cut it like that or uh, you can just um, sew it like that and the uh, machine will cut it for you. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let the uh, machine cut it for me. And there you go, there's the excess. That goes in the trash. So attaching the neck to the shirt. So now we're gonna flip the neck right side out and we're going to fold it like so so you're going to fold it in half and we're going to grab the center of it don't worry about that thread the machine will cut it 
and we're gonna start about an inch back from that uh, um, from the center also we're gonna start from this point from the shoulder one inch this way and we're gonna stretch the neck a little bit because the neck is actually smaller than the than the uh, shirt itself okay so stretching the neck a little bit we're gonna place the uh, center about an inch away from the shoulder and we're gonna start sewing and now we have to make sure that um, all three pieces are lining up pulling on the neck a little bit not too much but we're gonna pull it just a little bit because remember the neck is actually smaller than the shirt itself so right here when you get to the end or where you started we're gonna sew about an inch and then we're gonna pull it out. So it's gonna be sewn on top of this one about an inch. So right there, we'll pull it out. Just got it. And then usually what I do is I pull on both of them, on both of these threads, the longer ones, and that will tie the, the um, stitching. And I'll cut it. There you go, so now we have a neck sewn together let me show you what it looks like so that's how your shirt should look like right now the neck and both of the pieces put together okay so now we're going to do the uh, sleeves so remember all the time that we're uh, sewing these shirts together we're actually working inside out and then starting like for example if you see this part of the, the uh, sleeve where it has a little it almost looks like a neck. Uh, we're gonna start where the, it actually curves and that this is our, our starting point. So again, we're gonna put both of these together, feed them inside the machine. And then usually um, we just put it in there and let the, the machine hold it for us, just like that. And then we're just gonna follow both of the fabrics because um, this one right here, if you notice, one of them has a curve that is going back this way and the other one has a curve the other way to create the shoulder part. So that's one of the things that we have to make sure that um, both of these lines are actually sewing together. And you'll see it right here where they don't want to meet. See how one of them is going this way and the other one's going the other way? If I keep pulling it this way, you will see how it's more obvious. So right here at the top one, you're gonna have to force it to go um, and line up with the bottom one. And then right here, you just wanna make sure that both of these um, points end up together and just sew it all the way through. Just like that. So we got one sleeve put together. So now we got the uh, sleeves in place, everything is put together. Now we're actually gonna sew the sleeves and the torso or the entire body of the shirt together. Okay, so starting at the sleeve, we're gonna put the um, shirt together. And this is probably the easiest part of putting the shirt together because everything is already, the, the hardest part is already done. So now it's just following both of the fabrics to get or putting both of the fabrics together and sewing we're gonna cut the excess thread and that's it our shirt is actually done i mean not done but it's put together so we have the neck we have the sleeves together everything is ready to go the only thing that we have to do now is put a hem on the sleeves something like that and at the bottom but that's for another machine so now before we do the hemming on these shirts because all we got to do now is do the hemming uh, what we're going to do is see this uh, uh, the surgery that we did on this neck it's going to be lifting up so what we're going to do is we're going to put another straight stitch right here to kind of pull it down and um, it won't be uncomfortable on your neck so that's what we're gonna do right now. Now let's go to the other machine and do that. Okay, so again on this one, what we're gonna do is if you notice how this is lifting up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew it so it stays down with the shirt. That way, 
when you're wearing the shirt, it won't be, again, be uncomfortable or that it's gonna be pushing the shirt up, making it look kind of weird. And uh, all we're gonna do is just put a straight stitch to, again, to sew it down with the uh, shirt. So as you can see now, the uh, seam right here or this um, serger right here is not lifting up anymore. It's um, down with the shirt because we put the nice um, single or not single but straight stitch. Um, and that's going to look really good once you're wearing the shirt. Plus before we actually send these shirts out, we're going to press them so they look nice and neat. So now for the hemming. On the hemming, we're going to fold the bottom of the sleeve about let's say about a half an inch to five eighths of an inch and we're going to put a hem so on this one the shirt is basically upside down we can barely see where it's actually folded and uh, but i can actually feel it right there and you want to start about an inch from the seam right here we're going to start sewing so that way when we stop we're going to stop at that seam when we come all the way around and we'll stop at that point So on this one, what I'm doing is I'm folding the shirt, as you can see right there, holding it with my hand and I can feel it right there. And I'm making sure that it's folded about a half an inch to five eighths of an inch. Okay, so now we're gonna do the cleanup right now. That way we don't have to clean it after the fact. That way when we stop, that will be it and it'll be clean and ready to go. So again, remember this is where we started, about an inch from the seam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on top of that and then stop it at the seam. Take out the shirt. And on this machine, if you cut the thread on the back, the thread on the front automatically gets cut. So just like that, and there you go. That's a hem, and that's what a that's how the machine uh, sews in the back. So so that's it. At this point, the shirt is ready. It's done. It's sewn completely. Done. It's a it's a finished product. The only thing I gotta do now is I'm gonna press it to make it look better. Now all we gotta do now is brand them. So we have to put our brand, which is this right here and the uh, t-shirt size. That's all we gotta do now. Just like that. There you go. Now the t-shirt's ready to go, it's branded. It's got its size on it, uh, uh, three extra large. Now we gotta do this this one right here and this sublimation uh, transfers you can actually use them multiple times only on the size because we're only pressing for four seconds just like that and you see how it transfers on so everything's going to be sublimated even the neck tags and then the neck tags we actually put um, obviously our brand the size and then at the bottom it says probably made in Waco, Texas. Okay, so now let me show you what the shirts look like. And obviously this is the front. There's the sleeves. Now at the back. Okay, so now this is the Texas Q. It's the second shirt that we made. So we have the back.
and this is what the sleeve looks like and that's gonna be it for this video guys all i gotta do is uh just say thank you guys today is the 24th i believe <laughs> uh no uh, november the 24th tomorrow is actually thanksgiving i want to say thank you to all the people that have subscribed to this channel um i'm very grateful that you guys have taken the time to hit subscribe on my channel and that you hit the notifications and then you guys uh actually spend your time with me thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for supporting liberty graphic designs thank you to everybody that uh has um, supported the channel by buying a shirt um uh, again have a happy thanksgiving for those of you that celebrate it but and for those of you that don't celebrate it, again thank you <laughs> for subscribing to the channel it's a pleasure doing these videos for you guys um uh, let's move forward and let's do some b bigger and greater things thank you guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe i will greatly appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you're notified when i upload new videos you don't have to um, uh, ding the bell to get notified, but I would greatly appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. It's a pleasure, you know, doing these vi videos for you. If you guys have any questions, any questions whatsoever, um, just let me know in the comments below. I know one of the questions is going to pop up. It's about shirts like this um, that have a, a, a team logo. I just so you know, I normally don't do stuff like that. This is for a friend of mine. So... If you happen to ask me to make you a shirt with uh, copyrighted stuff, I'm more than likely I'm going to say no. But if you guys need anything else, you know, just let me know. If you guys want to see something else done in this channel, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to, uh, to get it uh, done. Thank you guys again. I cannot say thank you enough. <laughs> As you guys can see, I keep saying thank you, thank you. But it's Thanksgiving Day, so thank you guys. And I will catch you on the next one. We'll see you later. Bye-bye now. God bless you.